Well, greetings subscribers. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And as you know, this is my Candy Apple Red Hutch Trickstar. And I was about uh, 98 and three quarters percent done with the install and ran into a little snag with the brakes. I mean, yes and no. Uh, with this ACS Pro Rotor, one of the things they uh, do supply with it is one of these uh, crappy little steel pressed cups with the uh, cable holder in it and that's going to line up right here so that that uh, bottom cable can go through it and then you can hook up the rest of the cable back to the back brakes. Um, yeah I didn't like that if you want to run uh, any better like uh, you know period correct uh, Tioga or any kind of bash proof headset you know in including ones that are colored um, yeah, that just doesn't work out that great. So, you know, I went online and I uh, got one of these uh, Suntex or whatever they are. And the problem there, yeah, after I went to install it is uh, that little cable adjuster, that little platform is way too far out. And unfortunately, you can't like bash this or straighten it out in the vise because they did actually like press crimp that so I know if I try to do anything more than likely since it's steel it's gonna crack so um, yeah I decided to uh, basically take some of the um, aluminum coupons that I had from my uh, little welding kit these are just like little practice pieces this is eighth inch um, aluminum and uh, took one of those and basically the finished product <laughs> is this and uh, that's one inch rounded, same as what the other little cable holder is. I went ahead and actually uh, drilled and threaded this for uh, for a cable adjuster. And uh, yep, gonna sit this in here. Now I did want to move this hole a little bit further out, but you basically can't. So you know, I'll show you that uh, after I get this all assembled, along with you know all the little still photos of everything that I did. But as you can see. Um, I had to mark that pretty much right where that cable needs to fit. So um, I did thread this so I could put that holder in there. Um, you know, it's adjustable, but probably not needed. I'm probably just going to uh, cut that down and put the bolt on the other side just so it looks good. And uh, yeah, since this is aluminum, I'm just, you know, I wanted to polish it out, but since the headset's black, I kind of, um, yeah, I don't know if I want to try anodizing it at home, <laughs> uh, just because I want to try that too, but if not, I might, just so that the bike is up and finished, I might just spray it black, I don't know, but, but check this out, man, look how cool that machining is on that sander, and then, uh, yeah, I just hit this with... I don't even remember what it was. I mean, I've got some 2000 grit. That's why I said I was almost tempted to just polish it out, make it chrome, kind of to match the neck. But I don't want to really uh, have to do all of that on this edge. And that's really what you're going to see the most. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll throw all of the other photos together of everything that I did on this and uh, kind of take it from there. So. All right, it's official. I'm mentally retarded. So after making this beautiful piece, I realized it didn't do anything <laughs> because it's actually uh, attached to the fork. So when the forks turned, uh, this piece turned as well. So what I did is uh, I referenced this uh, gyro and realized, oh yeah, that's right. When the gyro is here, 
yeah it's down on top of the cup and so it doesn't move same thing with this ugly piece which I don't care what I need to go through I am not going to use this I am not going to go with a regular headset so it is what it is so anyway uh, based on this um, and that gyro I realized yeah with the gyro you actually have a piece that's sitting here and then you put the cup in like that and uh, that hanger will be here well let me turn this around so that hanger would be there and then you can put the rest of the headset on and run the cable down through it so yeah I had to pull the bearing cup precision and I had to make myself uh, another egg for lunch so this time this one's out of eight inch steel um, yeah the thinner material in aluminum just was not yeah it was not uh, strong enough so uh, we're gonna do this uh, I still need to drill a hole and I'm gonna tap it as well so that way I can put the cable hanger in it with the bolt and uh, yeah we're gonna go that route so <laughs> once I get that done uh, I'll show you the finished product but I uh, just oh man I thought this was uh, quite humorous so um, Hopefully, I'll get it finished, get the brakes on, and be able to get out and ride in some daylight. So, stay tuned. Yeah, I admit, I was a special kind of stupid there for a minute, but in the end, uh, pretty happy with the final result. Everything turned out, and the brakes are now installed, and I uh, couldn't be happier with the little custom cable hanger uh, we'll go over that here in a second but uh, just go over a few things uh, I've got the MX Tech 3 levers uh, just like I have on my 1980 Robinson Pro and that's what I wanted to run uh, working great got the nice uh, die comp gold embossed cabling uh, running down through the H stem so uh, we'll go over that and uh, front brakes too um, MX Tech 3's Dicomp cable um, yeah and then this is the uh, finished product on that hanger so as you can see it's down low below the cup and looks pretty good I mean almost like a factory piece so uh, first things first before you even ask no I'm not gonna make you one <laughs> this was actually my uh, my third but I do have that uh, tapped and threaded so I can use this uh, cable adjuster down here you know as well as the one that's on the brakes but yeah here's the uh, finished product there's the mechanism so looks good still have to tidy up you know the cables and the cable lengths but uh, yeah so on the back uh, MX 1000s and those hit uh, the rim you know just perfect yeah I gotta clean that up so happy with that and uh, as I recall like with the the cool pads and the tough pads you know you gotta let those bed in and you know then they'll start working a little bit better um, oh side note too everybody should be happy that I got rid of that um, what was a black ops seat that I had on temporarily I was just waiting for this to come in from Osaka so I've got this uh, Kashimi X arrow uh, just like I have on my uh, Robinson as well and what else uh, oh yeah front brakes uh, so got those down through the pots line and uh, they actually work very well so these are MX 900s believe it or not these are NOS date coded 1983 and look at the look at the quality yeah and uh, pads run way up high so they actually uh, grip great so there you go that's uh, like I said the finished product could not be happier so I think the only thing left is to uh, yeah fuel up and go hit the skate park so thanks again for watching look forward to your comments and we will see you on the next one.